Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Things are still heating up in Moscow. Even tonight, as uh, I'm speaking to you now, only about an hour ago, a fire broke out at a convent, a Catholic convent near the, near the Kremlin, in fact, only meters away from the Kremlin. Some people were first were reporting that the fire was actually at the Kremlin, but it was not. It's actually at a Catholic uh, convent there. But this is not the only issues that are heating up there. Uh, there was an article that came out today in, uh, an, uh, called The Total Collapse. It says, Russia warns state of war exists as UK nukes prepare first strike. This is on March tw uh, 14th, 2015. It says, uh, the article says, the Ministry of Defense, the MOD, is reporting today that the Federation is now in a state of war, thus bringing to full activation President Putin's dead hand nuclear order issued 29th of July 2014 to the strategic missile forces. According to this report, the full activation of the much feared dead hand nuclear option was authorized under President Putin's previous order due to the discovery of the nuclear forces of the United Kingdom were preparing a first strike against military and civilian targets located in the Federation. The intention of the nuclear forces of the UK preparing a first strike against the Federation, this report says, was revealed by Federal Security Services, the FSB, electronic intelligence experts working in conjunction with uh, Kaspersky uh, Lab, who discovered last month a massive U.S. national security agency cyber espionage program targeting not just Russia, but everyone else on the earth. Both the FSB and Kaspersky lab experts, the MOD reports, were able to swiftly reverse engineering the computer codes involved in the massive uh, NSA spying operation, which then enabled them to electronically obtain the launching codes and coordinates of all UK nuclear weapons, showing their plan to launch a first strike against the Federation during the week of 15th of March. And this is very serious news here. We've seen this also reported other places. Uh, it's reported on a network uh, air routed traffic for the UK's nuclear weapons agency through Russia's telecom uh, on the website called The Verge. And, um, and not only that, we also have some other, uh, uh, let's see, that is, yes, that is actually a, a network air routed traffic for the UK's nuclear weapon agency through Russia telecom. Now they're claiming that this was an era that took place uh, rerouting the nuclear weapons on Russia. Uh, we also have uh, quite a few other stories here. All of this in regards to Russia and the events that are happening there. Uh, another one is, is that uh, the Russian military drills are in the west and south and far east of the country. Uh, they're using live weapons uh, in their drill. This is on yournewswire.com. Uh, it states here, the Russian defense minister announced a series of military exercises with live fire. The exercises were launched simultaneously in the southern, western, and far eastern regions of the country. A series of military exercises with live firing were launched Wednesday in Russia's southern and western regions in the far east, the defense ministry said. Meanwhile, some 7,000 kilometers or 4,200 miles away, the, the Persevent and Admiral uh, Navalsky and amphibious warfare ships have begun exercises in the Sea of Japan that include live firing at several coastal targets, air defense units in the uh, westernmost Russia region of the Baltic enclave of uh, Kaliningrad have also launched large-scale exercises involving over 500 servicemen and 100 units of military hardware. Uh, we also are having reports here uh, in Europe uh, by the way, we still have not got back to Israel. We're hoping to get back there in the next week here or so. I had to postpone again because I still have not cleared from this sinus issue. But uh, anyway, we are getting reports from the uh, news here in Eastern Europe that, uh, that, uh, that the United States is sending military uh, tanks and uh, equipment that will be going, that will be filtered through uh, the Czech Republic on its way to the Ukraine. That's another developing story that came out on news here uh, today. And the BBC is reporting that uh, the Ukraine conflict, Putin was ready for a nuclear alert. Now this was in a documentary that was released in Russia today on state-ran television. 
So President Vladimir Putin has said he was ready to put Russia's nuclear weapons on standby during the tensions over the crisis in Ukraine and Crimea. In the comments in a documentary aired on state TV on Sunday, Mr. Putin said the life of ex-Ukrainian leader Viktor uh, Yanukovych had been in danger. He also said Russians in Crimea were uh, in danger before Russia annexed it. And in a previous release clip from the film, he said he ordered the annexation weeks before of a referendum was held. Crimea was formally uh, absorbed into Russia on March the 18th to international condemnation after unidentified uh, gunmen took over the peninsula. Um, speaking of the documentary called The Path to the Motherland, Mr. Putin said, we never thought about uh, severing Crimea from the U Ukraine until the moment that these events began, the government, uh, the government overthrow, speaking about the government overthrow there in Ukraine. And, um, and I know a lot, a lot of people have criticized Vladimir Putin for the issue with Crimea, but it, in reality, if you have uh, the largest pop, part of the population is Russian, and they do choose in a referendum in order to, to, to stay part of the Russian Federation, that's their prerogative, and that should be their, their right to do so, as much as the eastern Ukrainians that are Russian as well that are fighting for their own independence uh, to be a self-proclaimed republic are doing as well. But it's quite clear that things are still escalating as the U.S. and the uh, NATO allies are sending in military hardware in the region of Ukraine preparing for what may end up being into a very serious war in the not-so-distant future. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.